financial world is in turmoil, and we're here to break it all down for you. Japan's stock market is crashing hard. Fears of a US recession are sending shockwaves through global markets, and cryptocurrencies are in freefall. Bitcoin has plummeted below $50,000, with major tokens like Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Caspa, and Bittens or Tau down 20 to 30% in just 24 hours. Adding fuel to the fire, Jump Crypto, a major player in the crypto space, appears to be liquidating millions in digital assets, potentially exacerbating the sell-off. But that's not all. The Federal Reserve has called an urgent meeting. What does this mean for Bitcoin and the broader crypto market? How low will prices go? And what's behind Jump Trading's massive moves? Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about what's happening in the crypto world, because folks, it's not pretty. The crypto market is experiencing what some are calling a bloodbath. Bitcoin, the flagship cryptocurrency, has plummeted by more than 15%, trading below $50,000. Ethereum, it's down 30%, falling below the $2,200 mark. In total, we're looking at over $300 billion wiped out from the crypto market in just a few hours. Liquidations have crossed a staggering $1 billion in the last 24 hours, with $750 million in long liquidations alone. But here's where things get really interesting and potentially scary. The Federal Reserve has called an emergency meeting. Now, when the Fed calls an urgent meeting during a market crash, it's usually not to share good news. This could signal that they're seriously concerned about the state of the economy and the financial markets. So what's behind this crypto crash? Let's break it down. Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF negative inflows. Mt. Gox Bitcoin repayments causing selling pressure. Disappointment over the Fed's decision to delay rate cuts. Massive Bitcoin liquidations over the weekend. Each of these factors is contributing to the perfect storm we're seeing in the crypto market right now. Additionally, according to the Look on Chain report, Jump Trading, a major player in the crypto space, is offloading 120,695 WST ETH, worth $481 million. Having sold 83K WST ETH, worth $377 million since July 24th. The market has dropped 33% since then. This move by a significant market participant can trigger further sell-offs as others may react to the increased volatility and follow suit, amplifying the downward pressure. Another factor in the crypto crash is the growing possibility that Kamala Harris could defeat Donald Trump in the upcoming election. With Harris raising over $300 million and gaining momentum, Predict It gives her a 53% chance of winning. Investors concerned about potential policy changes are adjusting their positions adding to market instability. The recent surge in crypto prices led many new investors to enter the market, hoping for continued gains. However, as the market reversed, these new positions faced liquidation, intensifying the downward momentum and contributing to the current market instability. The recent surge in crypto prices attracted many new investors, but as the market reverses, these positions are being liquidated, worsening the downward momentum. Plus, Bitcoin's ongoing trend of lower lows and lower highs signals bearish control, undermining previous bullish patterns. With Bitcoin below the 200-day moving average, further declines are possible, and altcoins are likely to experience more extreme movements. So we can say the convergence of geopolitical tensions, recession fears, interest rate hikes, Mt. Gox distributions, actions by major market players, stock market corrections, and political uncertainty has created a highly volatile environment for cryptocurrencies. On the other hand, we're witnessing history in the making, and it's not the good kind. Japan's Nikkei 225 stock index has just experienced its worst crash since the infamous Black Monday of 1987. We're talking about a jaw-dropping 10% plunge. This isn't just a bad day at the office, it's a full-blown crisis. The Japanese financial markets are experiencing a seismic shock that's sending tremors throughout the global economy. The Nikkei Index, Japan's primary stock market benchmark, plummeted by an astonishing 3,500 points, settling at a precarious 32,385.01 by mid-afternoon in Tokyo. This dramatic fall represents one of the most significant single-day drops in the index's history, rivaling the infamous market crashes of previous decades. But what's behind this financial earthquake shaking the land of the rising sun? 
The answer lies in a perfect storm of economic factors converging at once. First and foremost, the Bank of Japan's recent decision to raise its benchmark interest rate has sent shockwaves through the market. This move, while aimed at normalizing monetary policy after years of ultra-low rates, has spooked investors who fear it could stifle economic growth and corporate profits. Adding fuel to the fire are growing concerns about the health of the US economy. As Japan's largest trading partner and the world's economic superpower, any hint of trouble in the American economy reverberates loudly in Tokyo. Recent economic data from the US has been less than stellar, raising fears of a potential recession that could drag down global growth. Lastly, we're witnessing a global shift in investor sentiment, with many fleeing from risky assets and seeking refuge in safe haven bonds. This flight to safety is a classic response to uncertainty but it's exacerbating the sell-off in equity markets. The repercussions of this Japanese market meltdown are far-reaching. It's not just Tokyo feeling the pain. Stock markets across Asia are reeling, with many hitting multi-year lows. From Seoul to Singapore, from Hong Kong to Mumbai, we're seeing a domino effect as panic spreads and investors rush for the exits. This cascading effect threatens to destabilize markets far beyond Asia's borders potentially triggering a global financial crisis if left unchecked. Now, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. The Japan stock market crash is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Global markets are in a state of panic, and it all ties back to fears of a looming US recession. Last week, we got some disappointing economic data from the US, and it's got investors seriously worried. The fear is that the Federal Reserve might not be able to engineer that soft landing for the world's largest economy that everyone's been hoping for. Instead, we might be heading for a hard landing, in other words, a recession. But it's not just economic data causing concern. We've got a cocktail of issues brewing. The global economic landscape is further complicated by a series of interconnected challenges that are amplifying investor anxiety. Rising geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, particularly the ongoing conflicts and diplomatic strains, are casting a long shadow over global markets. These tensions not only threaten oil supplies, but also create an atmosphere of uncertainty that makes investors increasingly wary. Simultaneously, concerns over tech earnings are sending shockwaves through the market. As tech giants face regulatory scrutiny and potential slowdowns in growth, Investors are reassessing the once bulletproof tech sector, leading to significant market volatility. Adding to this perfect storm, both China and Europe are grappling with their own economic slowdowns. China's property market woes and regulatory crackdowns, coupled with Europe's energy crisis and inflationary pressures, are creating a drag on global economic growth. This confluence of factors is triggering a textbook case of market panic. Investors are fleeing risky assets en masse, seeking refuge in traditional safe havens like bonds and gold. The sell-off is indiscriminate, sparing no sector as fear grips the market and liquidity dries up. So, where do we go from here? That's the million dollar question, or should I say, the billion dollar question given the scale of these market movements. For the stock markets, some experts are warning that this could be the start of a significant correction after an extended bull run. In the crypto world, things are even more uncertain. Some analysts had predicted that Bitcoin might fall as low as $45,000 in the coming months due to the Mt. Gox repayments. With the current price already below $54,500, that prediction is starting to look worryingly plausible. But it's not all doom and gloom. Despite the crash, some experts remain bullish on certain markets. As for the Fed's emergency meeting, all eyes will be on any announcements or decisions that come out of it. Could we see emergency measures to stabilize the markets? Or will the Fed hold steady and let things play out? There you have it, folks. A global market meltdown, a crypto crash, and a Fed emergency meeting all rolled into one explosive situation. We're living through historic times in the financial world, and the next few days and weeks will be crucial in determining where we go from here. Will Bitcoin find a bottom soon? Can global stock markets recover from this shock? And what will the Fed do next? These are the questions we'll all be watching closely. Remember, in times like these, it's crucial to stay informed, but also to keep a cool head. Don't make rash decisions based on panic. Do your research, consult with financial advisors if needed, and always invest responsibly. That's all for now, but stay tuned for updates as this situation develops. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there in these turbulent financial waters.